Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm gonna be filming a little what I eat in a day. So I just woke up. It is Saturday and it is 6.43. I know. I'm very proud of myself. I was this close to staying in bed. Um, but it's 6.43. So I wanna make some breakfast. I'm really craving avocado toast. But there's no avocado in the store, so... I'm trying to think what I'm gonna make today. Make a smoothie for breakfast, and then for Vlad, a toast with some Nutella, and for me, a toast with some cheese. I just use like grain bread, whatever I can find. This is from Little, we do a lot of our groceries there. Me, like brown or like grain bread is like my preference. Time. Like I was saying with my smoothies, I just put in anything that I think is gonna taste good, and that's in my fridge at that moment. So right now that consists of sliced banana strawberries, sliced banana pieces, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, water, and I'm gonna add in a couple supplements who that you won't taste, um, but are just good for you. Okay, so it is now 9, uh, 12.40, so we're going to have some lunch because I'm really hungry. I didn't have any snacks since this morning. Uh, Vlad did have uh, probably like 10 Oreos, but I didn't. So I'm shaming you on the internet. <laughs> I'm going to make some chicken with a little bit side of pasta and some broccoli. So first I'm gonna prep the chicken. I always meal prep ch the chicken if I make it this way. I make the whole batch um, and then I freeze it. I make the whole batch so it's just easier. You basically just make as much as you want in a batch. Um, I normally do one full pack but now I'm doing a little bit more. Big knife and I'm gonna cut the pieces about like, you want them to be somewhat even pieces you can choose how big you cut them I just kind of like this size because that way I can end up using the pieces I don't use in different ways I can put it in wraps I can put it on the side of food yeah so I cut it into like little pieces like that and then just put them in the bowl chicken here um, I'm gonna separate it into two bowls because it's just gonna get a little too messy with the small bowl with a little bit of just any old olive oil just slightly coat my chicken and then this is my secret favorite part one of these like seasoning packages so there's all these different ones it has just a lot of spices in case this I got in France but in case you can't find this I basically coat my chicken in an insane amount of spices I use uh, onion salt smoked paprika organic leaves curry chili pe powder pepper salt sesame seeds turmeric basically my entire spice cabinet that's like you know not sweet I'll add on there so I'm gonna just evenly separate this between the two bowls haha <laughs> chicken I'm gonna put this to the side and meanwhile I'm gonna boil some water for the pasta that some butter in two pans and then and I 
love using chopped up onion. I think this is really good if you're in college or just lazy. It saves you a lot of time, so you can either buy them pre-packed, and if you can't find them, just cut up an onion yourself, keep it in the freezer. I'm gonna let the onion kind of get a nice color. For my pasta, since it's a side, I'm just gonna use a little bit this rotini. I keep an eye on that and kind of move that around. And while that is cooking, it is time to cook my frozen broccoli. This is only for me since Vlad does not eat vegetables. So the amount looks so depressing because obviously it's just for me. But okay, so don't judge me. But the way I make my broccoli taste good is by adding a little bit of I'm not even Worcester sauce. Oh. Because I like them to be like crunchy and have flavor. Pepper. A bit of chili powder. Now, I just make sure nothing burns. It's kind of loud because everything is cooking and the vent is on. But I'm going to prep some of the sauce for the pasta and then I'm gonna put some tomato sauce on the pasta can you be careful please I'll do it on video <laughs> some pasta with basil leaves some cheese on top the chicken I said that we like prepared with the oil. <laughs> The chicken and then for me just the same thing but then with some broccoli and just like different size portions so we're gonna enjoy that pasta is average because it's literally just, just that and cheese yeah mm. it's basically like any Italian any Italian restaurant in New York no but when I do only like pasta I make it like Put more stuff in. You you taste the difference. Yeah. Mm. But the chicken is so good. And let me try my broccoli. Mm. I like it when it's like crunchy. And a little like crispy and crunchy. Chicken is delicious. I love broccoli. The way it's somehow it. yellow. You made it somehow yellow, the chicken. Because of the different seasoning. I told you it's a different seasoning pack. Buon appetit. So next up, I'm gonna have my little Alani Kimade, which is I tried in one of my, I think my last video once this goes up, which is just like an energy drink that will hold me over for Christmas shopping doing later and also just like walking around. This will keep me productive and not wanting to sleep. Okay. My god, the mascara under my eyes. My hair is like freaked up. Anyway, we're gonna be making some croque monsieur. 8.37, we were trying to plan a trip. Anyway. They're fucking nasty. They're so good. Go. No, I swear there's a pickle community out there. I'm also... Please don't unfollow me. <laughs> but I'm the type of... I love pineapple and pizza. Anyway, if you like pickles or olives... I feel like if you like pickles, you like olives. You know what I mean? That, that's the type of thing I feel like. Vlad like, doesn't like pickles, doesn't like olives. I feel like this goes in hand. Like If you like pickles, you're going to like olives. If you like olives, you're going to like pickles. Even though they don't taste the same at all. So yeah, if you, you like either olives or pickles. Or hopefully both like this video so that I can prove to Vlad that he's a minority and I'm just a better person in this apartment because duh because girls have to stand up for each other you know what I mean hey, we reached 500 subscribers guys woo giveaway <laughs> no you should do a 500 special oh my god I have this video it's still up on the internet okay. um when I was like eight do I know it? No, you don't. And I'm not going to tell you. Uh, you're not going to find it. It's like, I don't talk about this topic anymore on my channel. But I was making videos. And I did a video. 
It was in Flemish. It wasn't even in English. I did a video. Thank you for 11 subscribers or like 12 subscribers. Guys, I'm gonna find the video. I'm cringing. I'm cringing so I remember the name. <laughs> Don't cringe at your own girlfriend. I just did a deep dive on the internet and found my YouTube channel. So I'll play a couple clips. I will not be telling you the name. And I honestly, I honestly want to keep it up online, just floating around. However, my YouTube videos that I created. When, okay, because these videos, I was eight years old. I was an eight-year-old YouTuber. Guys, I was literally hustling since I came out the crib, like, came out the womb. Like, first year living in Monaco, I filmed these. Also, bro, also, I feel so much more comfortable talking to the camera now. It's so nice. This is it. Okay, hold on. The fact that I have to keep turning it on is so funny. Because it's dead? Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> hold on. When is it ever on? Cock monsieur. And the saturation... Ta da! Now we're gonna. Okay. I give up, okay? I tried. I really tried dedication, but. Bon appetit! Oh, great lighting! Oh. Isn't that like China or Russia? So. Bon appetit, guys! I'm not gonna put another clip of us eating, but you get the concept. It's so good. And so easy to make and very non-nutritional. I wish I could be like, so easy nutritional. No, it's not nutritional, but it's easy to make and it's really good. So I'm going to enjoy it.